Take one. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on TV. I want to get back on. So, well, you're um, on Newsnight, well, the country's yeah. premier news show here. Well, well, can we make a series out of this? I want to see how this goes first. All right. Okay. Not everyone can be the boss. Some, like Stephen Van Zandt and Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band, are great sidekicks. I think it helps that we're actually friends. I think it helps that it's not a democracy, you know. Um, Who runs that band then? Uh, the guy whose picture's on the cover. The boss. <laughs> like, well, they, I'll I give I you three guesses. I call him the boss for a reason. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's, you know, um, we were a hybrid, you know. I mean, rock rock is all about bands, and, and pop is more or less about solo artists, and we're the hybrid of somebody and the somebodies. Um, but at the same time, um, he's the boss, and that's, um, you know, and he's a great boss. You woke up this morning, got yourself a gun. Van Zandt also appeared in the first and perhaps the best of the box sets, all about the mob in his native New Jersey. It was different, but you can't help thinking of The Godfather a bit, I suppose, and well, Goodfellas. But, but and everybody knows it, so you can kind of use what everybody knows and go a little bit left Play here. with it. Yeah, play with it. And, you know, in the end, we fashioned this relationship pretty much on my relationship with Bruce, which was, you know, the consigliere, advisor, friend that you grew up with, you know? Take it. Bird you ever see? He's gone. What happened? I didn't want to overload you with AJ in the hospital. I don't want to hear that. Go. Bird let me know the other night. He's been playing both sides of the fence with New York. Bert? Measures were taken. I guess you haven't done many whackings for Bruce, though, over the years. Well, no, no, none that we can talk about. No. no, no. But, Quiet um, words here and there, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but it's a similar job. You know, you, when you're the best friend, you know, you're the one that has to occasionally deliver the bad news, you know? And so I was very, very well. <laughs> I understood that that part of the, uh, the relationship. Springsteen and his band have always cultivated a blue-collar image. So are their audience an important demographic in Donald Trump's America? Do you think uh, there was any correlation between your audience and the famous Trump base? that we keep hearing about. Well, soundbite on that one, huh? I just wonder <laughs> what you have to say on it, Stephen. Oh my goodness. Um, there's a, um, let's just say a, a common frustration with the way government works, I think, that um, everybody has. Uh, suddenly, whatever those uh, elements you had in common with our audience, you know, that, that sort of working class audience, suddenly now it's all been very, very fragmented and, uh, and the ugliest part of humanity is now being uh, endorsed, you know. So it's, um, I think, um, in the beginning uh, of, the, of this sort of uh, uh, adventure, um, there was a lot of people looking at it like, oh, isn't, isn't this fun? You know, he's going to change and break all the rules and, you know, maybe shake things up in a good way, you know. Nobody's thinking that anymore. You know? I was born a sinner. I was born in sin. I was born with an alibi, with a trouble I bet. For once, Van Zandt is front and centre himself as he brings his Disciples of Soul to London. This champion of the American working man and woman has this message for us Brits. Who's going to be happiest about, about Brexit? You know, Looney Tune Putin, that's who, you know. For, for us to be abdicating our position of the world as we are right now in America, sadly, tragically, 
And then to have UK do the same thing is incredible. I mean, it's incredibly bad timing on top of Well, we haven't else. actually left the I know. EU. We have voted to. Well, and I'm, and and I'm hoping... there's talk of a second referendum. And I, and I hope there is. Talk. I hope there is a second referendum, you know, and I hope, I hope the, uh, you know, the citizens of the UK realise this is a huge mistake. A sophisticated clothes horse, Stephen Van Zandt could never be mistaken for a character in Spinal Tap, could he? Or could he? Have you ever had the dressing room, one down from the puppets. I wouldn't imagine so. I mean, you, you've been <laughs> the top of the tree for decades, but have there been occasions when you've thought, come on? Some dressing rooms are better than others, you know, some, some stages are better than others. I mean, you really get a... Have you ever done that thing where you can't find the stage? You uh, go we, downstairs. Simil- there's been sim- similar moments, and, and, and at that point, everybody starts saying, Hello, Cleveland, or whatever the line is. It's final tap.